this computer. All right, I'm recording and we're live. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> Very talented. <laughs> I tell you. So I wanted to um, kind of talk about fact versus myth. What's happening right now in the mortgage industry? Um, what people can expect? What what are the what's the real information? Um, I know that some people are like, oh well, geez, the government said I don't have to pay my mortgage. Woo! Uh, which is not correct. Um, so let's just talk about those kind of things. Let's talk about what do you want to start with, like forbearance versus forgiveness? How that you know takes yeah. place. I mean, you're the expert here. I'll, I'll go with you. Thanks. Um, good morning, everyone. So yes, I guess um, to Kim's point, forbearance of a mortgage. So for those of you that own a home currently and are having some financial difficulties, there's the CARES Act that was um, enacted due to the COVID crisis that we're in that basically allows people to um, not pay their mortgage three months um, I've heard as much as a year, but this is a forbearance of mortgage payments. This is not a forgiveness. So um, you hear that term a lot in student loans. When people are in school, their loans can go into forbearance. The loans are still there. They're still owed. They're just not required to be paid on. And that is exactly what it is in the mortgage industry. So I would say that anyone that's having financial difficulties, you have to reach out to your bank and have that conversation. Don't assume that they know because they don't. Um, and then you have to have the conversation with them. What does it mean if you're skipping three months of your mortgage payment, is the entire amount going to be due in the fourth month? Um, that is huge. You know, um, nobody's going to have eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars to pay in the fourth month of coming out of a financial crisis. So it's very important to have that conversation with your mortgage company and try to work. Every mortgage company has their own rules right now. There's nothing that's etched in stone. So, you know, I can't sit here and say that you can pay it over the course of a year or they'll put it on the back end and make your loan now a 31 year loan. Um, that's, you know, also some things that I've heard, you know, are happening in the industry. So I think you have to have that conversation. I think you have to have it sooner than later. Do not, you know, go late on your mortgage. Again, do not assume that they know that you're having financial hardship. So um, if you can make your mortgage payment, by, by all means, make it. Um, I know that there are some rules out there right now that you can borrow from your 401k without a penalty. Um, that's also in the CARES Act. I don't really, you know, that's not my expertise. So, you know, if, if your 401k is there and you have that option to borrow from it just to keep, you know, afloat during this time, I would absolutely do that. Okay. Okay. So I guess what really need, what people really need to know is, you know, anytime that I think anybody's in financial difficulty or struggling, it's embarrassing. You know, right. people are worried about it, especially if it's their home. They, you know, sometimes people feel like if they keep it to themselves, it'll go away. And right. unfortunately it's not going to go away. So just call and talk to the people because they are getting so many phone calls that they're not like, Ooh, Joe Smith's not paying his mortgage right now or having problems. Right. You know, they, and they don't want, you know, a bunch of foreclosures when this is all over with. They don't, no. you know, they want to help and aid the best way possible so that they're not left with all of these properties when this is over with. Right. Banks are not in the business of owning homes. Let's be clear. We do not want another foreclosure crisis. We're all in this together. Nobody expected this, you know, days before this crisis started, you know, to come down, um, you know, we were probably all complaining about the weather. So nobody expected this and we're all in this together. And, you know, as, you know, as soon as you can be honest and upfront with the creditors, even if it's a credit card, you know, make those phone calls. Um, we don't know what the impact is going to be to everyone's credit when this is all over. That's another concern. For those of you that don't own a home that are skipping your mortgage or your credit card payments, your car payments, you know, what's that going to look like to your credit um, going down the road? We just don't know. We don't know if those are going to 
fees to report during this time? Um, is your credit score gonna take a huge hit? So just make those phone calls. And of course, if you have those credit questions, um, you can always reach out to my, myself or to you, Kim, um, and we'll, we'll try to help guide you as best as we can. Okay, great. So what about those people, um, and maybe not necessarily on the like grand scheme of investors, but you know, people who bought their first home, um, decided to hold on to it and rent it out, use it as a rental property, and then purchase their next home. What about those people who then are concerned about their tenants who have always been great tenants not paying a mortgage? So the tenants even okay, so now we're not talking about a mortgage, but we're talking about rent, you know, tenants and rent and rent payments. How are, is this going to affect them? Yeah, I mean, kind of the same. I would say that if you're if you're a tenant that's in a property right now, I would try to pay your rent. Um, again, same as a mortgage. When you go to buy a house down the road, if that's your goal, a lot of times we have to verify your rent payments. Um, so that's going to come into play if we see that you're not paying your rent. Of course, you know we don't know how this is going to play out in the credit world. You know, as far as what the mortgage underwriters are going to be looking at. But I would say that if you can pay your rent to do that. Um, or talk to your landlord, try to work out something, maybe you pay half of your rent, whatever the case may be. But again, you have that financial responsibility. And even though the eviction processes have been put on hold right now, um, that does not mean that you can't be evicted when all of this ends. So I would say, have those conversations. I would think that a lot of um, landlords, again, we're all in this together. It's not like it's affecting you and, and not me. So um yeah i would just try to have that conversation and see what kind of happy medium you guys can come to okay cool all Definitely. right so, so that's the the part of all of this that's the right. bad side. talk to me about the good stuff that's going on right now let's talk about buying a house selling a house it's a great time um interest rates are really low um i would say we're down the low threes on most of our mortgages wow. you know you wow. can't borrow money um any cheaper. A lot of people have um, a lot of equity in their homes right now. So we're seeing a lot of refinances happening, which is good because some clients even saving hundred dollars a month is huge for, you know, for a lot of people. Okay. Um, okay. So home values are continuing, continuing to increase. This is not a housing crisis. People have to understand that. 2008, that was a housing crisis. That was, you know, the writing was on the wall and it happened we've recovered. This is not a housing crisis. This is a health crisis. It's not going to lead to a housing crisis. The housing market is very strong. Um, March home sales were up, you know, from last year, which is a great sign. We don't know what April's bringing, but, um, you know, I would say that if you're looking to buy a house, we have lots of programs available. Um, you know, there's been a lot of news about mortgages being harder to get. You know, some of that is true. I would say that we are tightening up on our guidelines. We're verifying people's um, jobs right before closing because a lot of people are getting laid off. You cannot get a mortgage right now if you're not working. You know, let's be clear about that. Um, but we can set you up today. We know, you, we know you're gonna go back to work. We can set you up today with a plan. Maybe it's credit, maybe it's savings, maybe it's um, a down payment program that we have available that's gonna help you you know, obtain a home. So I think having that conversation now is important. If you're not in a position to buy, if you're working and you're in a position to buy a home, it's a great time um, because there's not a lot of buyers out there right now. So I'm finding, I just had a client put an offer in on a house who's been looking for four months and getting beat out every time. He just got a house. And I think it's because the traffic is down. You know, let's be clear, nobody's leaving their house. Um, but those people that want to buy a house are, are finding some really good deals and, um, and sellers as well. You know, a lot of people are still selling their houses. So if you're in the market to do either one of those, you know, Kim is a great resource, you know, Me? to do that. <laughs> um, and then, you know, have a conversation with me about what programs are available. What kind of money do you need? What kind of credit do you need? Um, if you're not on the job, when will you go back on the job? Um, so it's a good time to have those conversations. And what kind of programs are available? 
What, I mean, I know that I've done a lot of work with you with the FL, FHLB grant money um, right. and the state of Maryland grant money, which is also known as MMP or CDA. I know there's been big talk about that program, um, yeah. but in a talking lot of lenders, you, yeah, a lot of the lenders are not doing a lot of the um, programs that are available right now. We still are currently offering those. Um, the Maryland Mortgage Program, it's a great program. They have a lot of different programs that kind of fall under their, their main umbrella, if you will. Um, they have a 3% down payment um, assistance, 3% of whatever the sales, you know, whatever you're borrowing. Um, they have a $5,000 program where they'll give you $5,000 to buy a house. We do those down to a 640 credit score right now. So lots of money available with that. Um, first time home buyers, they do have a program that's for non first time home buyers. It's a little bit different. Um, then the FHLB grant, which is the Federal Home Loan Bank of Atlanta, we do offer that. So that's a federal loan. So it's a little bit um, different. And um, they have a first time home buyer which is a $5,000 grant. And then they have a program that's available for anyone that's employed in an education system. It can be a cafeteria worker, it can be a teacher, it could be the secretary to the principal, um, anyone that works in a hospital, anyone that works for police, fire, EMS. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Hospital, police, fire, education system. So community, um, community helpers, if you will. Community helpers, right? So they'll get they'll get seventy five hundred dollars, and they don't have to be first time home buyers. So oh, that's wow. a great program. Um, you know, we'll do that um, down to. I think we're doing that right now down into the into the low six hundreds as well. You know that that's kind of changing on a daily basis. So you know we'll have that conversation, but we have plenty of money available for that program, and. Um, yeah, you know, I would say that if you want to buy a house and you are having, um, you know, struggling with getting your down payment, let's have a conversation because there's definitely money to be, you know, to be given. Yeah. Out. Um, how many, I know, you know, I mean, obviously, as you know, a lot of different realtors, I know a handful, a slew of different lenders. Um, and I think with the refis, and even purchases, the traffic has slowed down a lot because obviously you're right, people aren't going out to look, but I right. know, but because everybody has so much time on their hands, they're focused on the internet and they are shopping online, you know? Right. And shoot, I mean, at this point, they might be able to buy a house quicker than they can get their stuff from Amazon, so. <laughs> right, um, right, right. So we definitely, you know, are still seeing a lot of traffic, I know, the friends in the business and that sort of thing and within my brokerage things are still moving i mean it's definitely not the bust of the spring market that we you know sure. had hoped for and some yeah. people are accustomed to but it definitely isn't like january either i don't feel like um, right you know things are still happening things are still moving so and and correct me if i'm wrong but i always tell my clients that there are three people that you don't lie to you don't lie to your lawyer, your doctor, or your lender. <laughs> I kind of just that. I'm going to use that. Throw your cards out on the table and yeah. say, this is what I have. Tell me what to do. How do I fit, you know, into kind of like the old deal a meal. This is deal a meal, deal a meal. What the Richard Simmons, remember like the cards that went into the, no, you're skinny. You have no, no that's idea. not right. No. Oh. <laughs> Um, I thought you were talking about a game show host. Or uh, I, I don't no, know. I was talking about a diet plan, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, for me, just to say to you, hey, look, here it all is. Here is my wardrobe of my color coordinated things, and then here is my dirty laundry. Because you're yeah. going to find out about it anyway, and you know, yeah. we have to make sure that we dot all of our I's and cross all of our T's. So it's just really easier if I just kind of dump it all on you truthfully and let yeah. you figure it out because there's not really a whole lot that you haven't seen. Yeah, I would say that, um, you know, I'm definitely one of those people that you want to be very honest with. A lot of times I get a little too much information that I feel like I need to know. Maybe I need a couch in my office and, <laughs> and change, my, uh, change my career path to, you know, psych psychologist. But, um, but I would say that there's really nothing that you can tell me that I haven't heard before. Um, this is a no judgment zone. 
I, you know, I pay my own bills. I've had my own life. You know, I have my own children. I've had my own struggles. Um, you know, so, so nothing that you say to me, I'm going to judge you on. So I would say just as honest as you can be with everything, um, whether it's money that you've hidden under your mattress, um, whether you filed bankruptcy, you know, six months ago, um, you know, whether you just got out of prison. I just closed a deal with a guy two months ago who was in prison. And, you know, I have to know what you've been doing for the last few years. It's part of my job to ask those questions. And his response was, I was incarcerated. Um, I'm going to say that's not the first time I've heard that. But um, again, he's done very well. His credit score is great. He has a job and he just bought a house. I mean, you know, it is, it was really, really an awesome moment and he was so thankful and um yeah so yeah. we're just again no judgment zone here we just need to know what what we're working with so we can deal with it right that's it and i mean not to sound ugly or whatever but you know i mean i yes i'm a realtor but i'm in the service industry i'm here to serve my clients to make sure that they get from point a to point b as smoothly as possible and mm -hmm. um and i'm not saying this from a financial point of view but i don't get paid unless everything works out you know what i mean so i'm not in the business to and i don't want to say like do a lot of work and not get paid but it's our job to to figure out and put those pieces together you know it's like jenga sometimes to make sure that we can work it out you know and sometimes it takes thinking outside the box but you can make it happen, you know? So right. it might not be what somebody would think of the easiest situation, but that definitely doesn't mean that it's not doable. Right. The time that you don't want to find out something is when the underwriter's in your file and you get an email from the underwriter. You know, we use it as the, as the old saying is, once the toothpaste is out of the tube, it's really hard to shove it back in. So use that. If, you can, if you can talk to me, then I can tell you how we can work through it. And you know, it's just like, it's just like in your job, Kim, when you do a home inspection, you know, you're going to get 62 pages of everything that's wrong. I can remember when I did it on my house 10 years ago, you know, they said that the downspout needed to be fixed. You know, that's really not something that I cared about, right. and nor should anyone, but, you know, it's your job to kind of go through that and figure out what's important, what's not important, and then have that conversation with the buyer. Um, so it's basically having the tools to have the conversation. So I think it it's it's something that you and I both deal with on different sides of of the business, if you will. And then you know? one last thing, I'm just gonna let you kind of give props to yourself and Fitzgerald. Why? I mean, so and I always tell people, you know, you need to really make sure that you click with the person that you're working with. You know, people sign contracts with me, but that doesn't mean that they are glued to me and I'm not going to let them go. Because if we're not clicking and we're not working well together, not jiving, there's no point in making it more stressful than what it needs to be. But what do you offer and what does Fitzgerald offer that, you know, makes you stand apart from the bigger banks? Um, I had somebody call me and they were like, well, I'm going to use, you know, a credit union, a bigger credit union. And I said, listen, totally look at them you know that's 100 percent your choice you can choose whatever lender you want but let me tell you that that's not how those bigger banks make money mortgages are not you know their forefront so that's not exactly you know that's not their not so what do i want to say like their bread and butter right. um what what makes a smaller mortgage company stand out and work better for a client yeah so that's a good question so um I've been doing this 15 years. I've been at Fitzgerald Financial for eight years, which is a really a long time in this business, just because companies tend to go out of business. A lot of loan officers jump around, you know, trying to, trying to get the next best thing. Um, for me, I've always been, you know, for the last eight years, you know, we have such a great core of people, our underwriters, processors, closers are all local. Um, with the big banks, you don't know where your file is headed. Um, and you get me, you don't get an 800 number. You don't have to, you know, I have clients texting me at nine o'clock at night and typically I answer them. Um, so I think that it's easier to deal with one person. And I agree, I tell people shop around. I'm not gonna say that my rate is gonna be the lowest today, but I can guarantee you that 
if I can't match it, you will probably come back to me at some point during the process of dealing with another large bank. Um, they're not going to close things quickly. I don't sell checking accounts, credit cards. I am strictly here to do your mortgage. And again, I'm like you, I don't get paid until your loan closes. It's in my best interest to figure out how to get there. And if, if you want the house, and you qualify for the mortgage, then it's my job to make sure that all of that happens and it happens in a timely fashion. It's a, it's a legal contract. A lot of people don't understand that. When you sign a contract to buy a house, it's a legal contract. There's dates in there. There's things that you have to be doing. And you know, Kim, you're good about pushing your clients along to make sure they're doing everything they're supposed to because we don't expect clients to know all the dates and all the legal sure. you know, verbiage in a contract. But people have to understand that if you're not doing that, and it's also my job to make sure that you're you know, doing what you need to do to get your financing, because that's part of your contract. And then I have a settlement date. So if your settlement date is in you know, three days or two days, and you still owe me pay stubs, we have to have that conversation because um, again, it's a legal contract and I have to get you to the settlement table as pain, you know, painless as possible. I'm not gonna say that the mortgage industry is easy, um, if anything, it's gotten really hard, you know, as far as the documentation that we have to get from you. I mean, you know, in my opinion, everyone is laundering money until I prove otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's my job. <laughs> so, yeah, with that, um, it's still very easy to get a mortgage. It just requires you know, a lot of documentation. And when you're dealing with one person and not an 800 number, um, it makes it makes a world of difference. All right. Well, I thank you for your time today. I hope yes. that everybody learned a lot. And if they have any questions, they can definitely reach out to us. I'll throw um, the information out there. Uh, okay. So we can get in contact with you. Um, it's probably easier than us just rattling off the number unless you yeah. want to doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, we'll throw it in the comments when I, you know, put it up there. Um, so yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Thanks for inviting me. And I hope everyone has a great day. It's going to be a beautiful day. Because it, it's a little windy and a little antarctic -y out there, but. Oh, but it's not raining. You're right. And the sun is shining. It is shining. That's it is shining. Right. Just get outside. Mm. All right. Thank All right. you so much. Hey guys. Have a good one. You too. Bye.